Hey everybody. Hi all my truths. It's Miss True Red Phone. It's freaking fantabulous Friday. The mighty quit. Baby True, quit looking at me like that. Um, this is my OOTD of the day. You see what the shirts say? Party because it's motherfucking Friday. <laughs> Yo. 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 It's dead in this town. You know? It's crazy. Gotta shake things up. Yeah, for real. Let's go. Quiet night, there is no sound. Who needs a light with no fun around? Don't y'all hate when y'all. Hey, look who with me, y'all. I'm dropping off Baby True at school. And this hip, this little girl. Hi, little girl back there. Hey, redhead. Eating candy. At what time in the morning? 8 840. Eating candy. See, they don't start school until 850. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, true family. Hi, everybody. It's me, True Redbone. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. You know I'm not a secret. Pass me around. <laughs> that shit still cracks me up, you know? I told Baby True to go in the bathroom, you guys, and plug up my curlers. She did it. She just didn't turn them. She didn't turn the curlers on. So I'm having hair difficulties today with my hair, but it's all good. We don't we don't fake it till we make it, right? Fake it till we make it. Think positive and positive things will happen. I, I can't say it enough. I'm gonna say it every morning. If you don't, if you're tired of hearing it, oh well, it is what it is. But it it, it helps me stay positive. Y'all have to feel my breast. Make sure I have my stones on me. Cause I was gonna go back to the house and get them. I need all the help I can get, you know. All right, let's um let's do the shout out for the first. Well, first of all, y'all, it's beautiful in my neighborhood. It is right now 86 degrees. Um, I did the OOTD of the day already of the morning. Day. I'm gonna start getting baby true in there too, y'all. She be acting funny some mornings, but she was feeling herself this morning, so I should have got her. I'll do that from now on. You ain't gonna see nobody uniform, but baby girl been laying them edges. My baby that got good with swooping them little edges. She's so cute. This morning we had the discussion, y'all, of hoop earrings. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So, of course, we've had this discussion before everybody. She is 11, going on 19. So we are, you know, simmer down, baby, simmer down. And she can't happen, she can't help it because you know, she's in the house with a 19-year-old who does makeup, who does hair, who accessorizes. And a 17-year-old is the same thing. They're into hair, makeup, woo woo woo. And thank God they have jobs and they can buy these things themselves. But baby true come in the ear in, in the I bought her a couple of hoop earrings, y'all. They were about this big. Okay? I bought her a hard pair of gold, of course, some rose gold, just regular little baby hoops, and um some silver hoops. And of course she has a gazillion studs. But she's going through this phase now where she thinks she can wear grown woman hoops. Come in, come in there with some hoops bigger than I got. I said, no child, no. You can give up on that. It's not going down. It's not happening. Mm-mm. Ain't nobody, I... nah. So we are dealing with that, but that's okay. Cause we gonna keep her, we gonna keep that 11 year old 11. Now you all, a lot of you have said that she is, she, She's very mature for her age. Yeah, she is. I gotta admit that. And that's because in my house, I know you heard me say this before. You get in where you fit in. You know what I'm saying? You are part of the household. The family, the family helps run the house. Not just mama. It used to be just mama because you know they was babies, but the family runs the house. We all have something that we need to do to keep the home running, running smoothly. And of course, with the 21 year old and 19 and 17 year old, she picks up all these, um, she knows more than she probably should but my, my my kids are really tight so they are always when they all are at home at one time they're always all up under each other so i appreciate that though so if if the consequence of them being close is her being a little bit more mature and knowing a little bit more like she already knows about having a cycle she already knows about a lot of things y'all and um, I'm, I'm glad we have open discussions about it she gets it from her sister so good if that's the consequence i'll take it moving on the first six true family members of the morning to um comment on yesterday morning vlog the, the true family gang 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 <laughs> odyssey h hey oh hey beautiful uh we have sean's newman good morning we have sarah's wife style hey boo 
go check out Sarah's wife style. No further ado, you know we gonna chop it up this weekend, boo, cause uh, I'm gonna pick that brain. Um, and I'll leave that right there. Y'all go check out No Further Ado, she has her channel also. And if you like and subscribe, make sure you let them know that you are also part of the True Family. Um, Doris G, Mama, hey Mama, good morning. And Michelle Renard, good morning, Michelle. Good morning, you beautiful ladies. Thanks for your love and your support. I deeply appreciate it, and don't you ever doubt it. Y'all, let's do the positive affirmation. Uh, be yourself, because an original is worth more than a copy. Eh, what? Let me do that again. I don't think y'all. I don't think y'all heard me. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get a little bit of the chronic. Y'all, this morning I put some cinnamon and brown sugar in the grounds, mixed it around, and it is delicious just delicious do you hear me y'all y'all ain't talking back today i got a problem with that y'all y'all keeping up am i moving too fast am i moving too slow you know mm, don't worry about it mm. let me show y'all my eyes when i take the when, when i take when <laughs> i'm feeling myself i'm feeling myself these are the ones y'all said y'all like them them the ones somebody said they like these oh y'all that is freaking delicious y'all know i'm working on my mouth i'm trying slowly but surely but be patient you know be patient with me okay um again be yourself there's only one you can't nobody be you can't nobody well people can do you you can be done <laughs> but can't nobody replicate you you know what i'm saying there's only one you be an original let me repeat it be yourself because an original is worth more than a fucking copy can't nobody do this. Me and my sister are damn near identical. We're 10 years apart, but guess what? I can't be her. She can't be me. But best believe, we got a lot of things in common. Y'all, my sister, I just looked at my sister's Instagram page yesterday. Um, it's Miss Peaches True Goddess. Her link is in the description box. Check her out. My sister has, and I, I, I hate to say, I feel bad for uh, not knowing. She's had, she has 126K Instagram followers. You heard me? She is a plus size model. Go check her out, show some love. You know, send her an Instagram re um, request. I'm trying to get her to start a channel um, cause she will blow the freak up. One, I, I guarantee she would. She would definitely blow up my sister. Okay, moving along. Just y'all try it, go check her out. Let me know what y'all think. Um, and you can't miss her, freckle face. Just me, freckle face on Instagram. All right, there's only one, it's only one you can't nobody duplicate us you know what i'm saying my like my husband like my husband tell me when he being sweet and, and loving he broke the he'd be like god broke the mold on you baby ain't nobody else like you he said i, I won the lottery you know what i'm saying all right so i want to talk about today i did catch niecy's live last night you guys i watched um this morning i was watching melisandra melisandra if angie has a youtube channel let us to know because baby true has one too you know they can link up I'm going to um, have her post up some new videos this weekend. Nisi, I heard you. So should, we will be making some new videos this weekend for Baby True. Um, so, yeah, if y'all girls, um, if your children have a channel, y'all know, go over there and check out each other's channel. Let me know. Just let me know. You can send me an email or whatever. We'll come see in due time. Don't, don't, don't come at me if I'm not, you know, responding quickly. Um, I have a video coming out. It's, um, I have a true family member, Takara Turner. Turn, Turner. I did a, um, she writes poems, y'all, so I will be coming out with another video for a poem. If y'all remember, we already did one. It's in the story time if you want to check that out. The girl is the bomb. I mean, check out her poem, y'all. It's in um, story time playlist. We're going to talk about, who else did I watch? I watched this morning. This morning I caught on the news, y'all. I'm just going to touch, touch it really quickly, but I will probably do another video about it, probably. 19-year-old. Um, him and his friend is, I, I'm, I can't even recall where it was because of course I was multitasking. He and his friend were in, were somewhere, somebody got robbed. Police got a hold of them too in the middle of the street. Um, the 19 year old took off running and pow, 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 got shot in the back four times. Um, because he, he, he did, I think he had a gun on him and it kind of did look like he was reaching for the gun he was probably trying to secure the gun because it looked like he had on basketball shorts but he is 
yeah he's gone he's passed on so y'all check that out in the news um and this is what I, I talk about the whole conversation that I have to have with my son every time he leaves the house um is to I really don't be wanting them to leave the house you know um I was watching Millie Sandra's son this morning y'all I've always watched Millie Sandra um I don't know if y'all recall me talking about her in the past um but her son it, it's something about boys boys are when it comes to their mama they are some freaking freaking considerate sweethearts like my son when I was working late, he would come out to the car. At night, I would get off. At, I would get home about 11:30. He would come out to the car, get my purse to the core, get my purse, you know, open my car door for me, and you know, walk mama in the house. When I go to the grocery store, thank you, mama. I appreciate you for going to the grocery store. I appreciate you for cooking. The little boy, the, my son is so freaking considerate, you know. I, 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 it's just different than a girl. I love them the same, but it's just a difference. Um, and I was listening to Lalo this morning with Melisandre. They were in the store, and he was she, Mil, Melisandre was asking him if he wanted something, and he was pretty much saying, "Mama, I don't need nothing." You know, boys are more considerate uh, of us than the girls. Cause my girls would be like, "Yeah, Mama," they they walking up to the cash register with twenty dollars worth of junk each. My son is more considerate. He'd be like, "You he'll say first, you don't have to buy me nothing." I'm like, "It's okay, baby. I offered. I'll get you something." I mean, just you know, he looks out for Mama. And that's what I saw Lalo do this morning from Elisandra and it touched my heart. It's just, boys are sweeter than <laughs> these girls, y'all. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say and I'm gonna leave it there. Um, I called some Anisi's live last night and the topic was good, you know? They were talking about when do you say it's enough, it's enough basically in a relationship. Somehow that led me and Kilo, my Kilo, y'all know his name is Kilo too. Um, Kilo, Mr. Mr. True. Oh, I feel like some crawling on me. If it's up, and I think it was my pants, like y'all, because I'll jump out this car right here, right now, and do the dance. I know I'm in the south. Woo! I was gonna, woo! Jesus, take the wheel. Lorraine, Lorraine, hey, you do hair, boo. You make sure you share, share, share your girl up. And I'm glad that you, 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 you're keeping those positive affirmations with you throughout the day. But, anyways, Keith and I. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mr. True and I were talking last night, y'all. And um, that's our me time at night in the bed. And I'm PMSy. So I'm I'm emotional, you know, sentimental right now. And we were watching the whole I'm not gonna give y'all all my information. We were watching the whole Meek Mill uh thing with the judge and him having to go away to jail, away from his baby boy. Um no, that's not what we were talking about. So we were talking about another YouTuber whose significant other um, has uh, went to prison for some time. And um, they took, we all do things differently. They took their children to see him. Um, look, they have smaller children. I think the oldest may be six, five, six or seven. Took them to see him in prison. Um... I'm just gonna, I, without telling too much of my business, I'm just gonna tell y'all what we, a little bit of what we been, went, been through and you can put it together yourself. Our life has not been easy together, y'all. And I'm gonna try to do this without getting emotional. You know what I'm saying? We have had struggles um, throughout our 23 year journey together. Struggles that would make or break Struggles that would break some relationships. Um, we have made sacrifices, of course, like any other marriage. I had to write it down last night, y'all, because y'all know my memory is bad. And I was just so emotional and in the moment with my husband, we were talking and it was deep. I mean, we were, you know, having a moment. And I, 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 I loved it. We were talking about our past and how it made our future so much better it made us who we are today as a couple and best friends you know what I'm saying um I really want to first say first and foremost thank God for this journey that I have been on so far <laughs> I'm trying not to cry y'all because I told y'all I'm PMS I, I, I definitely want to thank God for this journey that I've been on so far and it keeps getting better it gets better and it gets better and it gets better. And guess what? I get to do it with my best friend. Hey, I'm winning. I feel like I'm winning like every day. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying not to mess up my makeup. And I am. 
I'm a, it ain't even that serious. Damn, I hate getting gas. Oh, I hate getting gas. I had to keep something in the car because I'm a crybaby, y'all. I'm strong, but I'm a motherfucking crybaby when it comes to certain things. So, we were talking about our past, the journey that we've been through, things that we had to do, sacrifice for our children, things that we went through, something with the simple, like, the situation that I was explaining to you guys and how it affected our children. Um, we went through an instance, something like that, y'all, where I had the man the F up. Man the F up and take care of home for a while. Um, and you know, I refuse to put that burden on my babies by telling, by taking them to a certain place or by even, by putting that burden on them. So I'm trying to say it without saying too much because it's, I choose not to, but what we went through in our past made us stronger today, made us closer today made us appreciate each other more um made us appreciate the family that we built together and um it's part of the reason why we moved them from wisconsin milwaukee wisconsin um to what we feel was a better environment more opportunity um a safer environment for our children and it has been all of those things as i said in the past from the day that we decided that we wanted to move, everything fell in place. So we felt like we were moving in. We were doing, we we were following God's plan. And we did it together. And we would do it again. And we was just having that conversation last night, y'all. Just showing each other appreciation. You have to acknowledge um, the trials and tribulations that you have been through in, com in, in comparison to where we are today and the wisdom that we got from from the journey is worth everything that we from, from the past is worth everything that we went through to get here and I'm not crying because I'm because I'm sad, I'm crying because I'm motherfucking proud of us. We did that shit. We are doing that shit. And that's why when I talk on the trifecta, as Trace would say, I know a few things. I just don't, I just don't blurt out, you know. This PMS shit is, is for the birds, y'all. It's like really messing up my, my beautiful face. <laughs> That's a, I'm not conceited, y'all. But I did a good job on my makeup this morning. I'm sorry, y'all, but I'm not hurt. I'm happy, you know? And I'm just proud of us. I'm proud of us. And I would do it with that man all over again. But when I talk on the, the trifecta, I don't bash them. I talk about my life lessons, but try to, to let them know that there are other ways to do things. There are better ways to do things. And I'm not judging you. But if I can put out a little something in the world that I've been through to prevent somebody else from making those mistakes or to show them that it gets greater later, I would. I will. I will continue to. Let's just say the video yesterday that I watched of my jazzy life really touched my heart because I, I, I've been there and done that. But guess what I couldn't do? I couldn't. I could not, I could not sit in my own self-pity. I couldn't let my kids, um, not get, I, my husband was, my husband is more of the dis, displis, oh shit, what is wrong y'all? Disciplinary, le, disciplinarian than I am. You know what I'm saying? So you take that equation out the house, guess who has to do it now? You have to. You have to do it now, because if you don't, you get in that dark place where I can't do this anymore. They, they not listening to me, you know? That's frustration. But you gotta put on your big girl pink panties. 
and make it do what it do because no matter what you are raising kings and you are raising a king and queens kings and queens you know so you you now have to take on that responsibility it ain't easy um it, it, it don't matter if they say i don't like you because guess what you are a child you don't even truly understand the meaning of that but y'all anything worth having i'm gonna end it here anything worth having is worth working for working hard for um and it just really touched my heart the conversation that i had with my husband last night it tied into a few other scenarios and i am so proud of him he is a great provider along with myself you know we it, it, me and him against the world you know so baby if you come across this video i love the fuck out of you don't ever doubt it and you make me feel like a queen every day y'all that's all i didn't mean for this my videos always go longer now in the morning because i be having so much to say but please like comment subscribe try to make it to the end of the video y'all i'm gonna put that in there but you guys have an amazing freaking Friday. You will see plenty of me. And don't let the door hit you. With a good Lord split you. Peace, y'all.